Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So we have Sagittarius. This is your monthly. Oh, there's something dirty on my table. Don't get distracted. Um, <laughs> that's what you're being told to say. Um, to do Sagittarius. Don't get distracted. Um, this is for September seventh to October seventh, or whenever you come up across this message. I don't know why I hesitated there. Um, your song is friends. Here we go again. <laughs> Don't you go look at me with that look in your eye. Now, this is definitely coming from your soul. This is not so much somebody that... And there is an energy if you have somebody from the past trying to come back, but that's not what I'm picking up. This is um, this is these um, self-sabotaging behaviors um, that you have that is trying to be released or at least trying to come up to the surface so that you are aware of it. So... You guys have a tendency, Sag, unfortunately, that when things start to go your way, when things start to go good, you are waiting for the breakdown. You're waiting for something bad or you're waiting for the crash of it to happen. Now, it is literally showing me like um, the letter Y and, and really asking yourself, why do you do this to yourself? Why is it that when things are going good for you, when you're manifesting, when the blessings are coming in, you tend to revert back? Back to that energy and start calling in chaos and and misfortune and all of this other stuff into your life have you not learned yet that what you speak out of your mouth is what is going to be manifested so Sagittarius this is definitely a month for you to be very careful not so much about what you're saying but also what is it that you're thinking what dialogues are you allowing to play out in your mind um, Do not hesitate. There is going to be definitely a lot of different opportunities when it comes to growth, when it comes to abundance. And this is not just financial abundance. There is a huge elevation or a huge um, level up when it comes to your spirituality, when it comes to your awareness, when it comes to um, seeing, seeing things from a certain perspective that is being available to you at this moment. But again, it's like there is some type of fear here of if I get up to that level, then how quickly am I going to fall? And you have to recognize, Sagittarius, that just because you are leveling up, just because you're going to a does another level, does not mean that you have to fall, does not mean that you have to crash. And that is kind of like that is kind of like that is going to be your biggest challenge this month, Sagittarius. Staying optimistic and staying positive, not throughout the challenges because that's what that's kind of like what is funny here is like when you're when you're in the midst of chaos when you're in the midst of a storm you're very optimistic and you're like you know i'm gonna get through this i can do this i can and then when the blessings are here, you're the opposite. You're not optimistic that things can stay within that energy. You're not optimistic that things can continue to go good. Instead, you start calling in the opposite energy. So your challenge is to stay in a space of gratefulness and staying optimistic as the blessings are coming in, as you are receiving from the universe. So just play, keep that in mind, guys. And you guys are probably looking at me like I'm freaking crazy, but that's literally like the way that it's coming across. It's like when everything is going to shit, when everything is going to hell, when everything is going wrong, you guys are just there like, you know, no, this is going to, this is going to go, this is going to pass. Everything's going to get better. And this is, and then when things are going better, it's like you guys revert and you're just like, oh, when is this going to go bad? When is that going to end? And it's like, mm, do not do that to yourself because if you continue to do that to yourself, you're going to continue on going on with the same cycle. So that is kind of like the space that, Seriously, you guys have to get a like you guys have to get a hold of this. So whether it is that you should start journaling, um, keeping a grateful journal that you can write in every day, or write 10 things that you are grateful for that you can recite every day to kind of remind you of all, all of your blessings and kind of keep you in that energy or that space. Because again, it's like a lot of people 
do not realize how much of their blessings they actually block or how much they actually push away because of the thoughts that they are playing. Because as you start to play it in your head, it starts to do something in your body where you start to feel it and then your heart and everything, all of your energy is focusing on that negative thing that you don't want. And then you, you kind of question yourself or you ask yourself, why is it that you're manifesting exactly what you don't want? Well, because subconsciously you have yet to release that. So this is going to be a month Sagittarius where you are going to be able to finally once and for all release release that energy and release yourself from that energy that keeps on trapping you back within your own mentality when it comes to manifestation when it comes into blessings okay yes guys I do get excited um, for some of you, there's definitely um, a certain connection that is coming in in regards to love. I feel that this connection is going to, um, is going to be with somebody that either that you have as a friend or that is coming in as a friend. This is not somebody that you necessarily see as a um, romantic partner at first, but as the friendship starts to grow, is like the both of you start to realize or start to recognize how much um, you guys actually have in common and how much you actually compliment yourself when it comes to romance when it comes to connection and of course the video is freezing up in all of these weird places where my eyes look like they're half closed but it is what it is there is definitely when it comes to this love connection it's like something that you guys do not see coming so just prepare yourself for that especially if you have been single for a while for those of you that are in a connection they're they're telling me that there's a level up within the connection that you are in so whether it is that you are dating i feel that some of you are going to be proposed to or are going to be proposing to someone some of you are definitely going to and yes some things are shown to me in just one small area. There are some of you that are going to be moving in with a significant other. Some of you are adding additions to your family, such as children or pets. Somebody really wants to get a dog with somebody. Um, <laughs> It's like they feel that that is the next level of commitment that they can have. Um, again, when it comes to love connection, guys, do not allow, again, that energy of the past connections where things didn't work out to come in and rob you of the current connection that you are in or of the connection that is coming in so there's definitely this space of trying your best to keep the past energies that kept you replaying like the worst of the worst scenarios 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 and now i can't say it um out of your space or out of your energy all right so with the angels and ancestors oracle deck what is the message from your angels from your ancestors from your guides what is the message from your angels your ancestors and your guides for sagittarius for the month of september What is the message? Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. This is this is definitely a battle within yourself where you are you're reasoning why you're pulling in the negative energies. You're you're trying to come up with a reason as to why you allow that to happen. This is more of a battle of the self. This is definitely a battle within yourself. Um, what page was it? Peacekeeper 58. I know it was something with an eight. Um, like it's not 68, it's 58. Choose peace and happiness over the need to be right. Rather than trying to prove a point, save your energy for what's important. So instead of um, wanting to tell yourself repeatedly that every time something goes right or whenever some things are going good, something always comes in to mess it up. Instead, instead save your energy for that, that space where you are grateful, for that space of happiness, for that space of joyfulness, guys. Um, Sagittarius, um, with the belief in your own magic what is the energy that is going to help Sagittarius during this month 
nostalgia focus on the here and now definitely um number 30 three so again stop calling in all of those things that, that you do not want let's see 33 <clears throat> you're spending the majority of the time daydreaming wondering what could have been if only things had gone the way you wanted by doing this you aren't giving yourself a fair chance Truth is, there's nothing you can do to change what happened. No matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind, make improvements to your present, not your imaginary. Be, be sure to nurture what you've been given. So again, do not, do not fall into that mind trap, guys, to be honest with you. That is definitely the main message. Like... That's all that she has said at the beginning and just cut it off after like 30 seconds. Um, so let's go ahead and see what the rebel deck subconsciously, what is Sagittarius holding on to that they know that they need to release? Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person so again some of you are definitely going to have to surround yourself with people um surround yourself with a lot of um influential people people that influence you or people that you look up to or people that you admire people that are within your own frequency because i feel that when you are by yourself is mainly when all of this negative um toxicity type of mentality try tends to come in so try your best at this month to try to get out there and try and mingle with as many people as possible from a sense of connecting with people that are like-minded with people that are within the same energy um, spaces that you guys are in at this time well Sagittarius thank you for all the love and support thank you for spending this time with me um, why am I hesitant do not hesitate guys anyways um, <laughs> There won't be any weeklies for this week, obviously, because we posted the monthly. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Mwah.